Hey everybody, this is Joby, and today I'm on my Stemplar. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about leveling up first, how it's going with me. So if we look at my progression right now, I'm level 35, and I've only just now finished the main quest. So I did do some dolmens and PvP, so that helped me level up. But that was just like me going and doing whatever I wanted to have fun. This morning, I needed some skills, so I went and put all the skills on my bar, and I got Restoring Light so I could get Rune Focus, which is at the very bottom. I needed that, like, really bad. And then also, another skill I got is Momentum, which is so important. I need to morph that to Rally, and with the Rune Focus, so uh, morph it to restoring focus I think so if we look at my stats this is crazy okay so you can see my weapon damage is 2817 my physical and spell resistance is 13,320 now watch this okay so if I do momentum and then I do the rune focus Oh gosh, where is it? <laughs> okay, here it is. So rune focus and momentum. Then I go and look, I'm 21,240 resistance and 3,370 3, weapon damage. So those two are crazy. For right now, I have to stand in this circle or it, or it goes down. But when it morphs, it'll proc my... 7th Legion set and my weapon damage will go up and Warrior's Fury will have all the stacks so it'll just be crazy so right now my bar is all set up I'm done except the only thing I need is one more skill I need the two handed ultimate Berserker Strike which when morphed will be Onslaught and this this is a this is crazy you hit them with you know you come in and you hit you do rally and buff up and then you hit them with the binding javelin and then you run over and you start jabbing them with the biting jabs and then hit them with onslaught and then executioner and most people die but you know there's a lot of good players we were in uh cyrodiil and there were these two dragon knights and they were just incredible just murderers there was like eight people. They're running around the rocks and stuff. They do that on purpose. They'll come and just try to see how many people they can get away from. And, I mean, I, I, it must be because they, they just keep coming back. And then, like, they just stand out on the rocks and jump up and down and taunt everybody. And when people run out there, they don't really try to fight. They just try to run around. But then, once they get one of you away, lead you away, it's just murder. Just burst you down really fast. I have no idea what they're running, but props to them. They're excellent players. Really, really good. And that's really what I'm talking about when I say the armor and your skills of your abilities and stuff. That's only like 20% of it. The rest is all just how good you are. And then you hear people, oh, good, good, and stuff like that. But that's just a rude way to say you need to practice. You know, and in this game, we all need to practice, whether it's PvE or PvP, it doesn't really matter, you know, you have to be able to get your abilities off under fire. Okay, enough of the rant. So I'm really happy with my level up right now, doing good. I probably won't use any scrolls. I could have done it much faster if I would have wouldn't have been making the videos, but I only played like I didn't do any of the the questing just, you know, rapid fire like I usually do. So I wanted to show you guys the different phases. Now, what I have is, because I finished the main quest, so when I go to my journal, I have this new thing. It's called Caldwell, Cadwell's Almanac. This is Glenumbra, Stormhaven, Rivenspire, Alakir Desert, and Vancouver. I mean, that's a lot of stuff just for silver. But when we look over here, the Baldama Weird Tree, remove Angoff's corruption from the Weird Tree. But there's no way to find it on the map. So we know the Weird Tree is here. Okay, this tree, it's not marked, but 
if you come to green shade see I have the little witches coven so I can always just pour it here for free and then I'll always get that way shrine and then I'll start moving down but you want to come to the weird tree way shrine and what you have to do is I'll remove this marker you have to walk down the path which is really far from the weird tree if you just went to the weird tree like you came up this way or something you wouldn't see the person the quest starter and then once you get the quest started at this from this person they'll all lead to each other oh and by the way I bought the elk the normal elk with the crystals and uh, here you go the most irritating noise in ESO and I had to have it oh and I also bought something else is really funny hold on look at this this is great Come get some. <laughs> I love it. It's funny. Don't know if I'll ever use it, but I do like it. I'm a nerd. What can I say? Okay, so I'm just gonna ride over here to the place where I put the marker. See, there's a little road right here. This is where we are, and he's right there. But you can see it's really far from the weird tree. Okay, now we have to talk to this person. Weird tree is dying. This is the beginning of Cadwell Silver or Caldwell Cadwell Silver, yeah. I always call I it Caldwell. Had to the we need those I will take care of it. There's a lore book right here. The true nature of orcs. Band edition. The first thing is they are stinky. And how do I know that? Because I have an orc. And because my son loves to play orcs. My oldest son, that is. Okay, so here we go. Last night I started a mod in Skyrim that's Batman. Okay, they got me now. Don't hate. It's pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we have to open the portals. And these portals are like right here. And then I'm going to go down into this basement. Pick up the pick up the lore book. I probably need to join the Mages Guild. Okay, here we go. But I can sneak by him. But my pig will like... My pig will get me busted. He'll go jump on their fire. That's okay. I'll just do quick cloak. Run fast. And then you're going to hit this stone. Stand back. We shall begin the ritual. Okay, I'll stand back. I think you don't need to stay here. Because that's one already. So I can just go out now. And once you do that, all those people are gone. Okay, let's see if there's a lore book. No. Gotta always keep on the, eye, on the lookout for lore books. Okay, so we're going to do the other three portals. Oh, there's another one here. Letter to the Wyrus. Okay, let's look for the closest one. And we want it. We want to go probably here. Let's go this way. Same thing. You're going to go down into the basement or the cellar of those little huts. You're going to touch that stone. Just avoid the ads. It's a lot easier. For more books. Nada. Go down in here. Oh, a wolf. Okay. I'm just gonna run past and see what happens. Oh, you want some of this, huh? Okay, then. Okay, easy. Same thing, head to the stone, which is here. Oh. Get off that rock, Piggly. Above. Oh, there it is. Okay. So sometimes you have to look up or look down or whatever. Okay, same thing. Head out. We can get to work. And then we're going to have to do this thing as uh, find the corruption. 
and the corruption will we have to um, close close in fight this some kind of uh, creature it's all pretty easy and then once you finish this set like this little uh, mission in the Cadwell's silver journal it'll tell you that you finished it and also she'll tell you oh maybe you should head over to this place and then from then on it's all just like that you can do the other quests if you want to of course but when you do silver you get tons of skill points okay so let's look silver and then gold and then you get a pot you can wear on your head <clears throat> yeah I think I wore that like once and then that was it yeah I'm super happy with the Templar this Stamplar just really incredible skills and power and you've got all the heals and stuff it's great like this one ritual of retribution we have come to save the weird that's tree. just crazy see that how far out it is and it will heal everybody and then it takes off two negative effects it's insane so you got lots of heals lots of dps what was i ever thinking about not playing these right away i always played magicka characters i'm still not really good at stam character but i will learn Okay, this way. I used to be the like a guild leader in uh, this other game called Game of War, like stupidest game that's ever existed on an iPad. Just a pay to win game. And when you're the guild master, people all they ever do is complain, and then if you do something for them and help them. A lot of times they don't even say thank you and don't appreciate it. And then you're just working all the time. Every time people see, oh man, I got to tell you something, you know. Just a thankless job. Let's talk to her. You placed my what should I do next? Some of the guardians. Goodbye. So this is what I was talking about. We're going to clear the corruption of Earth. Now let's go to the closest one, which will, uh, it's not necessarily the closest, but we'll just go here. Up, I believe. Yeah. Gotta look for like a little skull, which will be there. Okay, so see this thing, and it's not really very clearly marked. Like, even if you, you know, it's a circle, but you got to walk up to it. The Corrupted Vine of Air. Okay, so we kill that. And then we talk to the Guardian. And the Guardian's going to, like, protect us. So you want to stay close. And then there's going to be this person coming out. These stones belong to Angloss now. the battle turn against you. Come here and I shall protect you. Okay, now we're going to go over here. And then she'll uncorrupt me. Which is nice of her. Not really used to this bar yet, so excuse me for not murdering that thing really quick. Okay, now we talk to the guardian. Well, actually, we just clear the other corruptions. Let's go up here. Okay, horse. Okay, and then we talk 
to the Guardian again. The Guardian of Water, a different Guardian. Stay close and let my power flow over you. These stones belong to Angar. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. The tide of battle turns. To my side, now. So you want to get near her and then it'll clear their corruption. It is defeated. Easy. Now we go to the last one, which is going to be over here. And after you clear the corruptions, you're going to go into the tree and talk to the lady and the weirists or however you say it. Is. Don't worry. I know I'm not saying it right. <laughs> but I can speak Chinese, though. So how you like me now? I just used all my like ability to say words for Chinese and then everything else just fell apart. That's how it goes. Okay, so we do Corrupted Vine of Earth. Talk to the Guardian of the Earth. When I first did this, I had so much trouble finding all this stuff. Just, we didn't have a zone guide or anything like that. I can shield you from the spirit's attacks. These stones belong to Angoth now. The spirit casts a spell that could shake the very ground beneath you. To my side. Go here. Now. Here we go. Jab. Execute. Good. Okay, now we're going to talk to what to Weiris Glenn. Gwen. Sorry. Glenn. Used to be Glenn. But now it's Gwen. Do we dead naming people at all? Okay, so. Here we go. All the spirits have been destroyed well and we got enough. the gauntlets. And now we need to. Um, I think if we look on the journal, yeah. So that's the Baldama Weird Tree. Remove Angoff's corruption. The next one is Camlord. Lead the effort to retake Camlord. Okay. Hmm. The next the next part is actually in Camlord, which is like um, where is Camlord? Let me see. Could be down here. Daggerfall. I actually think that it's way up here. Way up at the top. But I'm going to go ahead and go in here. And do this part. Okay, so here we are in here. And I'm going to put the power of light on them. Uh -huh. You know, I'm going to get this corruption off me because I've moved really slow. Oh, I should have gone over there, I guess. Uh-oh. Not used to this healing stuff. Oh, let's do bigger. There we go. That was the corruption. Return to the Weirus because we finished doing that. Okay. Like I said, I'm not used to... I don't have my rotation down here. And that's why I like to get all my skills leveled up as soon as possible so I can start to practice. Because it does take time to get everything it's how you so want beautiful. it. Okay, so see, you get a skill point. Thank the guardians when you get a skill did. point, I served in the lion that basically means coming. that that is a, you know, like a main quest. Because if you're trying to do Cadwell's... Um, gold and silver and then you go like this and then you go to whoops and then you go to the, the map and then you hold X and then press continue zone story it'll tell you to go to okay so since I started this it'll tell me where to go going to Aldcroft the beauty is you can pop it up and it's still yeah see it's just right over here but if you come in here without starting that first quest of the weird tree, and then you hit zone, it tells you to go all the way down to that Daggerfall. And that is not the quest. Okay, so I'm just going to port to the Alcroft Way Shrine. I'll see you there. Okay, so 
We're here in the Aldcroft Ald Way Shrine, and here's the quest marker right here. All you have to do is go and talk to Chamberlain Weller. This is a very cool quest. It's like all about werewolves, and I'm not going to tell you, but what I'll do is, um, like with Silver, because this is, this is Caldwell's silver right here and like I said you finish the main quest and then Caldwell will say oh can I talk to you for a moment you'll get your skill point from touching the Meridia stone the light but you still need to talk to him and if you haven't done that and you don't have this like if you've completed the main quest but you don't have this in your journal it's because you need to go back to the harborage and talk to him and then this is silver and then later will be gold and we've done the Beldama weird tree so I'm going to, I'll finish all these and then they're easy. Like I said, once you finish the quest, they'll say, oh, you should go and talk to so-and-so over there. And this werewolf quest will lead you to the effort to retake Canmore. Okay. And then I'll, I'll come back and I'll show you how to start Stormhaven, Rivenspire, Alakir Desert, and Bank Ride. Tomorrow I'll probably do another uh, PVE like finding some kind of memento or something that I think is really interesting. And then the day after that, I'll do something in PvP to show you guys something fun to do. Well, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And please leave a comment in the comment section. Just let me know what you think. If you hate it, if you like it what you want to see if you have any questions i'll be glad to help hit me up on xbox north american server gamertag coyote c-h-a-o-t-e-y my real name's joby just send me an in-game mail say hey what's up i'd love it add me as a friend and until that time let's get paid